shit couldn't have happened to a, a dumber guy. I mean, look at me. said about what happened in Detroit 2029 and the uh, video footage that got leaked from my helmet camera. What we considered reality changed for everyone that day. No more so than for me. Yeah. Look, I know I've been silent since all this went down, but today I'm finally ready to take you guys back through my footage and begin to tell you what Detroit was really about. began like any other day in Detroit. <laughs> we bought a home here for next to nothing only a few months back. But that's the day you train for. One moment you're playing with your kids, next you're being deployed to a war zone. We weren't told a thing. They just said, Detroit, under attack, nature of attack, classified. It was around here that I first heard the word extraterrestrial. We all call it bullshit, of course. Hey, we were all dead, and we knew it. You can hear it in our voices. And one of these specters grabbed me and dragged me off to my death. No 72 versions, no Moses, just lights out. I was dead. I just woke up. I just I woke up, standing over my own dead body. There, that was me. Somehow or other, my consciousness or my soul or whatever had uh, been transferred into one of these ETs. So I just thought, well, I may as well keep filming. I knew I had to get out of there and somehow return to my family. Okay, see that truck? I hid in the back of that truck. I managed to get a ride out of the city. It was around here that I first started getting these flashes of memories. You know, memories, but they weren't mine. They felt like memories from a different time altogether. Anyway, I finally managed to get back to the suburbs. It was around 3 p.m. now. I knew my girls would be in the park. I warned them about talking to strangers, but they just, they just ran over to me. This is one of the happiest moments of my life. Now, I dressed up as Santa Claus for them before, but this was like a billion times better. They found me, my former colleagues and got out of there. The manhunt went on into the night and I kept getting more and more of these uh, memories. And it was clear now to me who these specters were. They certainly weren't extraterrestrial at all. They finally got me, started gassing me with something horrible. It was just me. 
kind of getting ready to die there. And then I remembered something. I remembered how to fly. I remembered how to fly. I don't know, but I just remembered some basic math equations that everyone a thousand years from now is taught as a child. As you know, this was the last time my family was ever seen. I finally managed to set them up with normal lives. As for me, well, mostly I just fill my days flying around the world, exploring. I've seen all the wonders of the world. I've discovered all kinds of wrecks. That I've visited the poorest villages in the world. I've perched on satellites and watched this place spin around. And my kids are sleeping. But, to be honest, oh, most of my time is spent watching things that remind me of my old life. Things I'm never going to experience again. Anyway, this is a hacked account, so I better get off. But I'll be back on Brightwater in a couple of weeks to drop a much longer thought log that goes far deeper into Detroit. I'm going to tell you guys exactly who these specters were and what the future used to be like a thousand years from now.